you there and my audible team <clears throat> labiba please confirm if i'm audible to you or not yes sir all right labiba will wait for uh, two two or three minutes uh, so that other students could also join and then we will continue will it okay. be fine with you okay yeah uh meanwhile if you have any doubt you can ask me so if you, if i'm right i think we have we were talking about the accounting equation in the previous session na and uh we already discussed the basic concept of the accounting equation and in the last session we were actually doing some uh, problem based on the accounting equation if i'm not wrong yes so, so uh, all those questions are clear to you do, you do you want to ask anything do you have any doubt if i'm not wrong i think i have given you a few question for your homework as well na yes sir yeah so have you done those questions or not sir uh, like i have a doubt in this do you have a doubt yeah okay. like it's a bit long and confusing okay. just tell me the answer you have got uh, for the questions just a minute let me just open the question Uh, no problem. I think I gave you question number three for your homework, right? Question three. Yes, sir. This one is very long, and I was so confused. I tried doing it, but I think the th second, third, and the fourth thing is connected, right? So I tried doing it, but I ended up getting like I tried doing it three times, and all all the three times I got different answers. I was confused, okay. like. I was not able to get it. Like starting first, the first four to five, I think I was right. But then when I tried doing it again and again, I was just messing up with everything. All right, no problem. Uh, don't worry. Uh, we will be doing this question. If you were not getting the right answer, that that is perfectly fine. No problem. And the question <laughs> after this one, right? The the fourth question. That one was also the homework. Yeah, this one is also your homework. Yeah. So okay. we will discuss this one, right? Like both it. Yeah, we will be discussing both the questions. Anyway, okay. Let let okay. other students uh, also join so that we can start the session. Okay. Don't know why okay. other students didn't join yet. So we will wait for two more minutes and then we will continue the session. Okay, sir. all right uh, let me well, let's let's start with the question third so first thing that is given in the question is raju started business with a cash of rupees 1 lakh so the first point is clear na the Ra just a minute i think there's some problem with my powerpoint
sir, but uh, Zainab has not joined yet. Yeah, I don't know why what what's taking her so long to join in. Might be she won't be joining in today. We cannot wait for the entire session. So we should ultimately start now. Okay. <clears throat> there's some problem with my powerpoint we have to restart the program All right, Laviva. So uh, the first first point in the question is that Raju has Raju is starting a business with a cash of rupees one lakh, right? So yeah. this 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 transaction is going to affect number one the cash of the business as well as the capital of the business, right? Cash will be yeah. cash will be increased by one lakh, and at the same time, capital will also increase by one lakh. Is that right? Yes, I did so, the same thing. Yeah. You did the same thing now. So cash is increased, cash one lakh and capital one lakh, right? After that, yeah. in the uh, as per the second transaction, it says that he opened a bank account and deposited twenty thousand. So by uh, according to this transaction, this is going to reduce the amount of cash available in the business, and at the same time, it is going to increase the amount of bank balance. So this yeah. is going to reduce the cash. And increase the bank, and on the liability plus capital side, on the right side of the equation, there will be no change. Is that what you have done as well? Yeah, the second one is correct. It's the same. Okay. So finally, after the second transaction, new equation will be eighty thousand plus twenty thousand equals to one lakh. All right. Now moving on to the third item. Third item is he bought furnitures for rupee uh, for business for rupees ten thousand. So this transaction is going to increase the Value of the furniture, furniture will increase, and at the same time, yeah. cash will cash will reduce. Yeah. So, cash is reducing by ten thousand. There will be no change in bank, but furniture, furniture is going to increase. Yeah. On the on the right hand side of the equation, there will be no change. Okay. And after this, the new equation will be eighty minus ten thousand will be seventy thousand of cash available. Bank balance will be standing at twenty thousand, and the furniture will be at ten thousand. And capital will be one lakh. Okay. Yeah. Then fourth fourth one. He bought goods for rupees twenty thousand for business. All right. So when he is buying goods for rupees twenty thousand for business, he will presume that he must be buying goods in cash, right? So because of this transaction, goods is going to increase. The value of the stock will increase, and the cash cash will decline, right? So, yeah. because of the fourth transaction, cash is reducing, and goods are increasing, and the new equation will be fifty thousand plus twenty thousand plus ten thousand plus twenty thousand equals to one lakh. Is that what you have bought? Okay, I think here I made the mistake. Mm -hmm. What mistake you made? I I did not uh, subtract that. Uh... I did I cash. like the eighty thousand and ten thousand? Yeah. So over here, my answer was eighty thousand itself, and then I added again. So mm -hmm. oh, in the cash part, I think I messed up. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you got the na uh, got it. 
the fourth transaction. Yeah, no, the fourth one is clear. Fourth one is clear. Moving on to the fifth fifth item. So in the fifth transaction it says that he also sold goods costing rupees ten thousand okay. for rupees twelve thousand. So that means this time we are having a revenue. We are yes. having a profit of two two thousand, right? So first of all, goods will increase by ten decrease by ten thousand, right? Yeah. And the value of cash will increase by twelve thousand. Yes. And capital will increase by two thousand. Is that right? Yes. So cash is increasing by twelve thousand. Goods are reducing by ten thousand. And since there is a profit, so profit is going to increase the amount of capital available in the business. So capital will also increase. Sir, over right? here, no. Right. Yeah, but over here, I think I did not write the capital, like. Now you, the I'm, thing is that you understood this now or not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's find that. Then after doing this, we will be uh, determining the new equation. New equation will be fifty thousand plus twelve thousand of cash. The total amount of cash will be sixty two thousand plus twenty thousand plus ten thousand plus ten thousand, and capital will be one lakh two thousand. Now moving on to the sixth okay. item. Six in the sixth transaction. Raju Raju paid salary of rupees ten thousand, right? So yeah. when Raju will pay salary of ten thousand, it is going to reduce the amount of cash. cash available. Yeah. And at the same time, since salary is an expense, it is going to reduce the amount of capital. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So since salary is an expense, it will reduce the capital, and because salary is being paid in cash, I'm presuming so it is going to reduce the amount of cash available. So cash will reduce by ten thousand, and at the same time, capital will also de decline by ten thousand. Got it? Yeah. Then we will prepare a new equation. New accounting equation will be fifty-two thousand of cash. Bank balance stands at twenty thousand. There will be no change in fund issue. Ten thousand goods will remain same at ten thousand, but the value of the capital will decline by nine ten uh, thousand. That means ninety-two thousand. I hope it is clear. Yeah. To you. Okay. Right. This one. Finally, yeah, the last one. The last transaction is he also borrowed thirty thousand from bank. So see when when he will be borrowing thirty thousand from the yeah. bank. It is going to increase the bank balance. Right? Yeah. By uh, and since the amount is being received by way way of way of loan loan, so it is also going to increase the creditors. Sorry, increase the liability. So bank will increase yeah. by ten thousand. Just a minute. I think I, I, even I have made a mistake in this. I need to correct it. I think. Why? I, why did I? Okay, okay, okay. Got it. So instead of writing thirty thousand here in the bank, in the bank section, I have written it under the cash section. I hope it is clear to you. Okay. Instead of writing thirty thousand below bank, I just wrote it beneath the cash. So it should be here instead. And the liability yeah. of thirty thousand will increase in the form of loan. Liability will increase by way of loan. And then you, when you will finalize this equation, you will get fifty-two thousand as the cash balance, and twenty plus thirty, twenty plus thirty, it will be fifty thousand of bank balance. Furniture will be ten thousand. Goods will be ten thousand. Liability by way of loan, it will be standing at thirty thousand. Capital will be ninety-two thousand. And when you will tally both the sides, they will be equal now. Ninety-two thousand. Got it? Any any doubt? No, it's clear now. All right. Uh, so you had some doubt with the fourth question as well, na? No? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Labiba, would you mind trying this question one more time? Just just give it a try. Just try to solve it one more time. And then, if if you still did not get the answer, then I'll help you. Is it Now? okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll wait for you to answer. Uh, I'm giving you five minutes. Solve it. Let me know the answer. I'm okay, waiting sir. for your response. All right. Uh, just a minute.
Sir, I think I got the answer. Love you, but just a moment. Okay. Can you tell your answer? You're getting the same answer. The final equation will be 95,000 of cash. Goods no, will I be 30,000. I got, got the different answer. Yeah, it's I think okay, 10, just tell No, I got 85,000. You got 85,000. Yeah. Uh, so where did you commit the mistake? Just tell, just check it and let me know. I will check. Yeah, I will check. First transaction is correct. In the first transaction, cash is increasing, capital is increasing. Is that right? Yeah. The first one is correct. And, and the second one, in the second equation, goods will be increasing, second liability one. will. Okay. Yeah. The, okay. I messed up the, in the third one. Fourth one, I guess. Fourth one. What was the no, fourth? No, no. No, I think the third one, the good sold for that, that one so is the, the third one. All right. So in the in the third uh, transaction, it says that goods sold for rupees twenty thousand, costing rupees ten thousand to rupees. That means goods will reduce by ten thousand, right? Yeah. And there will be there will be increase in the debtors since the name of the uh, buyer is mentioned here. That means we must have sold goods to Ravi on credit. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so it is going to increase the debtor at the same time. Debtor will increase by 20,000. Goods will reduce by 10,000, but there will be, there is obviously a difference of 10,000 arising. So that is, yeah. that will be considered as the profit and profit will increase the amount of capital available in the business. Is that right? Yeah. So that means goods will reduce by 20,000. Look at the third transaction goods is reducing by 20,000 debtor is increasing by 20,000 oh, 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 oh. I think I think my answer is incorrect I have somehow I, I reduced the stock of goods by 20,000 just a minute I think I need to correct it I'm sorry this will be 10,000 this will be 20,000 and uh, here we will add 10,000 as the profit now it is correct got it yeah so the final equation after the third transaction will be one lakh of cash forty thousand of goods data stands at twenty thousand fifty thousand liability and capital will only stands at ninety thousand okay. this will be the correct equation after the third transaction now in the fourth transaction it says that we have paid salary to the manager so paying salary it is not mentioned by whether we are paying it through the bank or cash so we will simply presume that uh, salary must have been paid out of cash right and salary is what yeah. salary is, is an expense so it is going to reduce the amount of capital right so cash will reduce by 5,000 and capital will also reduce by 5,000 at the same time. So 5,000, subtracting 5,000 out of cash and subtracting 5,000 out of the capital. So the final equation will be 95,000 plus 40,000 plus 20,000 plus 50,000. And uh, it will be, instead of 95,000, it will be 85,000. So my answer is correct. You got the right answer then? Yeah, I got, I said you, I got 85,000 and I thought that it is uh, 10,000 less. It is correct? The, oh, yeah. So, yes, it is. So, uh, I guess uh, both the questions, both the route clarity. Now, let's start yeah. with the next question. Let's start with question number three. Question three. 
Oh, let, let this do one thing. Let's start with this question. Let's let's solve this question. All right. So I want you to write this question first, and then I'll help you. I'll help you how to solve it. Okay. Sir, I'm done writing the question. Tabiba, why were you writing the question? Sir, you said to write the question and then I will do the answer. Oh, oh, I, I just, I, uh, I actually me meant that, that you need to solve this question. And once you are done, then we'll, we'll talk about the solution. Okay, but sir, I think you, you said me to do that. Okay, then All I'll right. do that. No answer. problem. It's my mistake. Sorry for that. If you understood that way. Uh, but uh, I never want a student to write down the question because it is going to take a lot of time. Na? So, yeah. Just whenever I say do the question, it basically means you need to solve the question. Sorry if I. Okay. It's my mistake. Okay, then I'll do the answer. <clears throat> yeah. Just try, try to solve it. And if you are not able to solve it, then we will do solve it together.
done, Lavika? Sir, I'm still doing. You're still doing. All right. So just, just tell me how did you treat the first transaction? It says Harish has started business with cash. So how, what two things it is going to affect? First of all, cash will cash. be affected. Capital. Cash will increase and capital will also increase by 18. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about the second transaction. Purchase goods for cash, rupees 5,000 on 5,000 and on credit 2,000. <clears throat> sir the cash will decrease mm -hmm. by how much uh, no purchase wait the cash will decrease by 5000 perfect very good yeah <clears throat> and the credit one is it will increase in liability no mm -hmm. debt debt not debt no, that the, is the since, the, since we are buying goods on credit, that means that is going to increase creditors on the liability side. Creditors will increase by how much amount? Tell me. 2000. 2000, right. And at the same time, goods will also increase, na? or the stock will also increase by yeah. what amount? 5000. 7000, no. We bought goods 5,000 on cash and 2,000 on credit. That means total goods will increase by 7,000. Got this? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And finally, sold goods for cash, rupees 4,000, costing 2,400. That means goods that cash actually cost 2,400, we sold it for rupees 4,000. So tell me how it is going to affect the accounting equation. Cash will increase. Mm -hmm. By uh, four thousand. Perfect. And uh, and uh, capital. Goods will. First of all, goods will Good reduce. Na? goods will reduce by twenty four hundred. Is that right? Yeah. And since we are selling goods on profit, na. Goods costing twenty four hundred. We have sold that good yeah. for rupees four thousand. That means there is a profit. Profit of how much? 1600. So, 1600. So that means okay, so the, the capital is going that? to increase. Capital will increase okay. by 1600. Is that right? Yeah. Understood? Yeah. Okay. Then finally, so then pay. This one is confusing. This okay. outstanding 200. Okay. Outstanding rent is basically rent which is, which is not yet paid. This is pending. This is yet to be cleared off. That means the, the an, an, an obligation which is not yet discharged is considered as a liability. This is considered as a liability. Of 200? No let, let, let me help you. First of all, since rent paid 1000, rent outstanding 1200. So what will happen? Number one, cash will decrease. See, rent will reduce, cash, re cash will reduce by what amount? 1000? 1000, yeah. And the rent will rent is what rent is an obligation right so yeah. since we are paying the rent so it is all it is an expense so it is also going to affect the capital now capital mm -hmm. capital will also reduce by 1000 is that right yeah and, and the remaining the rent which is outstanding it is going to increase the amount of liability by 200 yes <clears throat> okay okay so see this is how it will look like when you will prepare the accounting equation the complete format will look something like this Eighteen thousand of cash eighteen thousand of capital will increase due to the first transaction then second transaction where we are buying goods on cash five thousand and credit two thousand this is eventually going to reduce the amount of cash increase the stock of goods by seven thousand and it is also going to increase the amount of credit creditors by 2000. So the new equation will be 18,000 minus 5,000, this will be 13,000, then plus 7,000 for stock, and then 2,000 for creditors on the right hand side of the equation, and then capital standing at 18,000 unchanged. Right, you got this? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then finally, because of the fourth transaction, in the fourth transaction, third transaction, I'm sorry. 
sold goods for rupees 4000 costing 2400 so it is going to increase cash balance by 4000 it is going to reduce stock by 2400 and at the same time because there is a profit so because of the profit capital will also increase by 1600 is that right yeah so the new equation will be 13000 plus 4000 it will be 17000 plus stock will be 4600 remaining stock will be 4600 and on the credit side, on the liability side, we will have creditor of 2000 and remaining capital will be 19,600. Sorry, uh, yeah, 18,000 plus 1600, it will be 19,600. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, then finally, the last transaction, rent paid 1000 and rent outstanding 200. So when you will pay rent, right, when you will pay rent, it is going to reduce the amount of cash and since rent is an obligation, total obligation stands at 1200. Total rent is what? Rent is an expense, right? So if, if the total rent stands at 1200, so we will reduce the amount of capital. Yeah. Oh, did I said 1000 in the previous? Yeah. Okay, so my mistake. See, when, when you will be subtracting rent out, since rent is an expense, so you need to subtract entire 1200 out of it. The capital will be reduced by 1200 but at the same time since the 12 200 of the outstanding rent is not yet paid so we will add one more one more item under the heading of the liability by way of outstanding rent and the amount of outstanding rent will be 200. <clears throat> Labiba is this clear to you? So okay uh, but then uh, at the end we have to add all of them together? Sorry I, at the end I'm sorry at the end, when we'll be adding to check the answer, we have to add all of them. Yeah, yeah. See, yes. See, when uh, at the at the final equation, final equation will be, uh, this will be our final equation. Sixteen thousand plus four thousand four hundred yeah. four thousand. Seventeen minus one thousand will be sixteen thousand. Then forty six hundred. Then two thousand. And outstanding rent will be two hundred. And capital remaining capital will be eighteen thousand four hundred. So this side of the accounting equation should be equal to this side. So let's just 20, add this 16,000 plus 4,600, it will be 20,600. And on the other hand, it will be 18,000 plus, 18,400 plus 200, it will be 18,600. 20,600, yeah. 20,600, yeah. 20, both sides it's are equal. Right? And you yeah. understood this? Yes. Okay. All right, so you want to write this down or shall we proceed to the next question? No, I almost showed this thing. You like I was wrote. doing only the last part. I was confused. I wrote it. Okay, so let's let's move to the next question. Let's do question number five. Prepare accounting question from the following. This one is super easy. Started business with cash rupees one lakh and goods rupees twenty thousand. Sold goods for rupees ten thousand for cash and twelve thousand. Uh, purchase furniture and credit for rupees 30,000. So I, I want you to try this one as well. And then we will talk about the solution of this. Okay.
So I think the, yeah. <clears throat> this one the cash will increase as well as the goods and the capital mm -hmm. and then the second one the goods will decrease mm -hmm. and the cash will increase mm -hmm. and then uh, for the third one it is the the Cash will decrease and the goods will increase, and the liability will also increase. Goods will increase is the third one. Furniture on credit for furniture liability. Increase, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. sorry. Tell, yeah, me, tell, tell me the final equation you have got. Sir, it is, I think I messed up. I don't know. If it is, all right, just do it. Uh, just do the correction, and let me do the final answer. Okay. All right, no problem. Let me show you the solution of it. See, this will be the solution. First of all, the first transaction, Lagiba, you there, na? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the first transaction is starting a business with cash. So it is going to increase the amount of cash. And at the same time, he's also bringing in capital. Uh, he was also bringing in goods. So goods, goods, will be also in, goods will also increase and cash will also increase. On the other hand, capital will increase by total of 1,20,000. Is that what you have done as well? Yeah, this one is the same, yeah. It's the same, okay. 
then the then in the second transaction it says that sold goods and we have sold goods on cash so cash is going to increase by 12000 goods yeah. is going to decline by 10000 and you can see yeah. there is a clear profit of 2000 so capital is going to increase by 2000 yeah right okay now the third one purchasing furniture on credit so when you buy furniture on credit this will add another item under the asset by way of furniture furniture is in furniture will increase by 30000 but since we are buying it on credit, so it is going to affect the liability. One yes. of the liability by way of creditor will increase and 30,000 will be re recorded under the value of the creditor, under the creditor. Okay. Now this will be the final equation. Finally, in the final equation, you can see the cash balance is 112,000. Goods will be 10,000, furniture will be 30,000, creditors standing at 30,000, and capital will be 1,12,000. When you will tally, both the sides should tally. 112 plus 30, it will be 1,42,000. And on the other hand, it, the, the, some total of the asset side will also be 1,42,000. Mm -hmm. Did I made some mistakes somewhere? Yes, yeah, so the last part is confusing. The first two I also did correct, but the last one is very confusing. <clears throat> last one is confusing. See, the, the in the last transaction, the question is saying that we have bought a furniture on credit for rupees thirty thousand. Is that right? Yeah. So when you buy furniture, it will increase the about uh it, it will increase the value of the asset. Yes or no? Yeah. And the, uh, since you are buying it on credit, so it is also going to increase the value of the liability as well. Yes. So that means, that means furniture will increase by 30,000 and liability by, will also increase by 30,000. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now what mistake we have done instead of 1,12,000, this should be 1,22,000. We need, just need to add 2000 in it. So 1 lakh 20,000 plus 2000 will be 1 lakh 22,000. And this will be 1 lakh 22,000 as well. Right, Labiba? Are you able to understand this? Yeah. Okay. Now, you, then you will tell you both the sides should tell. 122 plus 30,000 will be 1 lakh 52,000. And the sum total of the asset side will also be 1 lakh 52,000. I hope it is clear to you. If yes. you want to write down, please please do it quickly. No, sir. I want to just uh, do my with my. I mean, I want to try out the final uh, final equation. Uh -oh. <clears throat> okay. okay. So everything is clear in this question. Yes. All right. So we actually need to start uh, other concept. We need to discuss few special transaction in today's session, but I don't want to discuss these uh, special transactions since these are very important and all the other question, all the remaining question in this chapter is based on the special transactions. So I'm I'm just skipping this for today, and we will we will be talking about the special transaction in the next class. Is it okay for you? Okay, sir. All right, so since Zainab didn't join us today and I don't want her to miss this important topic, so we'll discuss some important transactions, some special transaction like the special transaction. There are four special transactions in this chapter. Number one is the payment. Whenever you make the payment or receive the payment and full settlement, so we need to understand what is the meaning of the full settlement and how transactions are dealt and how accounting patient is done whenever payment is made or received in the full settlement. Then outstanding expenses like salary, rent, wages, how these are treated, advance payment of receipt and income, how these are dealt with, and accrued income. We will be talking about all these special transactions in this chapter, but I, I don't want to start these topics in the today's session itself since we don't have enough time to discuss all these cases. So we'll be discussing about these special transactions from the next class onward. So I'm not giving you any homework for the next class. All you need to do is just make sure you revise everything. Just do the question that you already did in the, in the today's session and the previous class as well. So that 
you are able to understand the next session in a more proper manner. <clears throat> I hope you understand. Is that clear to you? Yeah. Yes. Sir. All right. So yeah. we'll be ending our session at this point only. And we'll be talking about more uh, regarding the accounting equation from the in the next class as well. We'll be talking about the special transaction in the next class. But this is it for today's session. Thank you, Labiba, for joining in. If you have doubt, you can ask me. Otherwise, we will be ending this session. Do you want to ask anything? No, sir. It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Yes.